Hello everybody and welcome to hole number 4, playing from Front T, which is Rookie Division for the Nordic Fjords and the Heroes of a Rocket Tournament. Video sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic, make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. You can get the ultimate tournament guides or exclusive tour text guides on Patreon, link to Patreon and the guides is directly in the description down below. We start off by taking a look at the more safer way to play this hole, which is gonna require zero risk really. Obviously, if you completely misadjust this shot, then you're gonna be in trouble. But you do have a lot of room for error, so make sure that you do what being told here, then you have no problem at least getting the birdie. Two bars of backspin, three bars of right spin. You can see here that I'm using a complete max distance with a power two ball with my backbone trying to aim for the hole and here it comes those of you that do have a grizzly seven or better has a massive advantage over those that do not and the reason for that is the ball guideline because now i'm basically just guessing where my ball guideline is ending up or like where my ball is going to end up due to the crappy ball guideline having a better ball guideline obviously gonna help me aim more directly at pin and I know with a setup like this, I'm never going to be 100% consistent with my landing spot and therefore the result will also vary. So here it's a safe way for you to play max plus 20, max side spin to the right, two back spin with a backbone and I would say that if you do have a, a crosswind or tailwind, this shot is going to be a possibility. But if you do have a headwind, it's going to be a little bit more difficult as you're going to be in between clubs trying to bounce on that fairway. And therefore, I do have the extra option, which is way more technical, but it's definitely going to be a much better chance to actually get an hole in one. Or for those of you that are only looking to get a birdie here, then obviously it's going to be a super safe birdie. So let's take a look at that option right away. For option number two, we are going to play a rough bump, and here I'm going to change to play with a Marlin, as I do believe that the Marlin is the only thing that we need to use here. So we're gonna go up and play with, once again, with a Marlin at the rough bump position. It's gonna take a little while until we get there though. Now we got up there. So you can see here that we do have a pretty decent amount of rough, but again, if you're misadjusting completely, or you're just not doing what you're supposed to do, then the water is most definitely going to be in play. So be careful here and don't play this shot if you don't feel comfortable with your adjustment. I'm adjusting uh, for max plus 10 power zero ball numbers. And you can see here now that I'm using spin that was one right spin and also some top spin to get the ball guideline through the hole. Bounce into the rough there and then just barely miss that one on the right hand side. I would maybe say that we should be aiming left hand side with this approach. But again the rough bump is by far the best possibility for us to make and hole in one here. And also this is the route that I do believe in headwind is going to be the most consistent one to at least get the ball to green. Based on as you can see me moving around my target like everywhere. And as all the islands were basically as in between club situations then I feel that the rough bump, unfortunately, is going to be your play in headwind, regardless if you want it or not. Video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your Golf Clash game.